this is Srikanth as assistant professor of Tripoli department. In this session, I am going to discuss the question bank problems on module 5. The first problem, the measurement of a circuit gives the following H parameters. H11 is equals to 10 kilo ohms. H12 is equals to 0 0.5. H21 is 100. H22 is 2 milli Siemens. Find V1 and I2. If I1 is equals to 1 milli amperes and V2 is equals to 2 volts. Now, with this H parameters data, we need to calculate the V1 and I2. So, here V1 is equals to H11 into I1 plus H12 into V2. And I2 is equals to H21 into I1 plus H22 into V2. So, here V1 is equals to by substituting these values into this equation H11 and I1, H12 and V2, we are going to get H11 value is 10 kilo ohms, 10 into 10 power 3 plus I1 is 1 into 10 power minus 3 plus 0 0.5 into 2 which is equals to 11 volts. So, we got the V1 value as 11 volts and in the same way by substituting H21, I1, H22, V2, we are going to get the I2 value as 100 into 1 into 10 power minus 3 plus 2 into 10 power minus 3 into 2 which is equals to 14 milli amperes. This is the I2 value. The next one, the following quantities are measured in CE amplifier circuit. CE is nothing but common emitter amplifier circuit with output AC short circuited. With output AC short circuited. Short circuited means the voltage across the terminals is 0. That is VCE is 0. And IB is equals to 10 micro amperes. We got IC is equals to 1 milli amperes. VB is equals to 10 milli volts. With input AC open circuited, with input AC open circuited, that is IB is equals to 0, then the values are VBE is equals to 0 0.65 milli volts, IC is equals to 60 micro amperes, and VCE is equals to 1 volts. Determine all the four H parameters. So, here the parameters corresponding to short circuit is nothing but when voltage is made zero, what are the parameters are given? And the next is when the current is made zero, what are the parameters which is given? So, here the H parameters are HIE is equals to input parameter. HIE input impedance is equals to VBE by IB that is equals to VBE value is 10 into when VCE is 0 when VCE is 0 10 into 10 power minus 3 divided by 10 into 10 power minus 3 10 millivolts which is given 10 into 10 power minus 3 by 10 into 10 power minus 6 because IB value is given as 10 micro amperes. So, which is equals to 1000 ohms that we can also write it as 1 kilo ohm. And HFE is equals to IC by IB. Here IC value is 1 into 10 power minus 3 by IB value is 10 micro amperes, 10 into 10 power minus 6. So, here this value will become 100. It is the ratio of both the currents. So, no units. This is the current gain. We can call it as 100. And the next one is HRE. 
that is VBE by VCE that is 0 0.65 into 10 to the power of minus 3 by 1 volts which is equals to 0 0.65 into 10 to the power of minus 3 or we can write it as 0 0.65 milli. Here also it is the ratio of voltages. So, there is no units only the milli will be there or we can directly write it as 0 0.65 into 10 to the power of minus 3. In the same way, how effectively the base is an open circuited depends upon the reactance and input impedance of the voltmeter used to measure VBE and HOE is equals to that is output admittance IC by VCE where IC value is 60 micro amperes divided by VCE value is 1 which we can write it as 60 micro moles per Siemens. The next one is a transistor is used in an amplifier has H parameter values of HIE is equals to 600 to 800 and HFE is equals to 110 to 140. Using approximate hybrid formula determine the voltage gain for the circuit. The AC collector load RL is equals to 460 ohms. When minimum and maximum H parameters values are given, we should determine the geometric average of the two values. This thus the values that would use in the analysis of circuit are found as under where HIE is equals to square root of HIE minimum plus HIE minimum into HIE maximum square root of 600 into 800 that is equals to 693 ohms and HFE is equals to square root of HFE minimum into HFE maximum that is square root of 110 into 140 which is equals to 124 ohms and voltage gain AB is equals to HFE, HFE into RL by HIE. Here 124 into 460 RL by HIE 693 which is equals to 82.3. A transistor used in CE connection has the following set of H parameters. When the DC operating point is VCE is equals to 5 volts and IC is equals to 1 milli amperes, HIE is equals to 1700 ohms, HRE is equals to 1.3 into 10 to the power of minus 4, HFE is equals to 38, HOE is equals to 6 into 10 to the power of minus 6. If the AC load RL seen from by the transistor is 2 kilo ohms, find the input impedance, the current gain and voltage gain. Here the input impedance looking into base ZIN is equals to HIE minus HRE into HFE by HOE plus 1 by RL. If we substitute all these values 1700 minus 1 1.3 into 10 to the power of minus 4 into 38 by 6 into 10 to the power of minus 6 plus 1 by 2000 which is equals to 1690 ohms where current gain AI is equals to minus HFE by 1 plus HOE into RL that is equals to minus 38 by 1 plus 6 into 10 to the power of minus 6 into 2000 which is equals to minus 37.6 
and voltage gain AV is equals to minus HFE by Z input into HOE plus 1 by RF that is equals to minus 38 by 1690 into 6 into 10 to the power of minus 6 plus 1 by 2000 which is equals to minus 44.4. It is a gain, so there are no units for the current gain and voltage gain. A CE amplifier has HIE is equals to 1000 ohms, HRE is equals to 10 into 10 to the power of minus 4, HFE is equals to 100 and HOE is equals to 12 into 10 to the power of minus 6 Siemens. The load resistance is 2000 ohms, fine, current gain, voltage gain output resistance. Current gain AI is equals to HFE by 1 plus HOE into R. Here 100 by 1 plus 12 into 10 to the power of minus 6 into 2000 which is equals to 97.7 and voltage gain AV is equals to minus HFE by Z input into HOE plus 1 by RL. So, here Z input is equals to Z input is equals to HIE minus HRE into HFE by HOE plus 1 by RL which is approximately equals to 999.99 ohms where AV is equals to minus 100 by Z input into 12 into 10 to the power of minus 6 plus 1 by 2000 which is equals to minus 199.2 where Z0 is equals to 1 by HOE minus HFE into HRE by HIE whole into 5 into 10 to the power of 5 ohms. Here for the emitter follower circuit shown in the below figure, the circuit parameters are RS is equals to 500 ohms, R1, R2 is equals to 50 kilo ohms, RL is equals to 2 kilo ohms, HFC is equals to 100 and HIC is equals to 1.1 kilo ohms. Determine the input resistance, output resistance, current gain and voltage gain. Here RS is equals to 500, R1, R2 is equals to 50 kilo ohms, RL is equals to 2 kilo ohms, HFE is equals to 100, HIE is equals to 1.1 kilo ohms, where RI is equals to HIE plus 1 plus HFE into RL, that is equals to RI value we got it as 203.1 kilo ohms. And the total input impedance is equal to here Ri is in parallel with R1 and R2 that is equal to 203.1k is in parallel with 50k is in parallel with 50k. So here the input impedance is equal to approximately we got it as 22.26 kilo ohms. And output impedance is equals to HIE into RS dash by 1 plus HFE. Here RS dash is equals to RS is in parallel with R1 is in parallel with R2. That is 500 is in parallel with 50 kilo which is in parallel with 50 kilo which is equals to 490 ohms. Where Z0 is equals to 1.1 into 10 power 3 into 490 by 1 plus 100 which is equals to 15.74 ohms where Z0 dash is equals to Z0 by Z0 is in parallel with RL so 15.74 is in parallel with 2 into 10 to the power of 3 which is equals to 15.62 ohms where AI is equals to 1 plus HFE which is equals to 1 plus 100 which is 101 and AV is equals to 
1 minus HIE by RI that is equal to 1 minus 1.1 into 10 power 3 by 203.1 into 10 power 3 which is equal to 0 0.9946 where AV is equal to 1 approximately. Now determine the input impedance, output impedance, voltage gain and current gain of the CE amplifier of below figure using H parameter model for the transistor with HIE is equal to 3.2 kilo ohms and HFE is equal to 100 at the operating conditions. Here are the given data VCC is 16 volts, R1 is 40 kilo ohms, R2 is 4.7 kilo ohms, RC 4 kilo ohms, RE value 1.2 kilo ohms. HFE is given as 100, HIE is given as 3.2 kilo ohms. Now ZI is equals to RB is in parallel with HIE, which is equals to uh, this is the RB into HIE by RB plus HIE, where RB is equals to base current. That is R1 is in parallel with R2 that is equals to R1 R2 by R1 plus R2 that is equals to 4.2 kilo ohms. Now ZI is equals to RB is in parallel with HIE that values if we substitute 4.2 into 10 cube into 3.2 into 10 cube by 4.2 into 10 q plus 3.2 into 10 q which is equals to 1.82 kilo ohms where Z0 is equals to RC which is equals to 4 kilo ohms where AB is equals to minus HFE into RC by HIE where which is equals to minus HFE into Z0 by ZI. That is equals to minus 100 into 4 into 10 power 3 by 3.2 into 10 cube. That is equals to minus 125. Where AI is equals to minus HFE into RB by RB plus HIE. That is minus 100 into 4.2 into 10 cube by 4.2 into 10 cube plus 3.2 into Cube, where a i is equals to minus 56.76. Determine the input impedance, output impedance, voltage gain and current gain for the CE amplifier shown below figure. The H parameters of the transistor of HFE is equals to 60, HIE is equals to 500 at IC is equals to 3 milli amperes. So here, here the given data is VCC is equals to 12 volts, RB is equals to 220 kilo ohms, RC is equals to 5.1 kilo ohm, HFE is equals to 60, HIE is equals to 500 ohms, where RB is equals to 220 kilo ohms which is greater greater than HIE that is equals to 500 where ZI is equals to RB is in parallel with HIE where HIE will be equals to 500 ohms because RB value is very high. So Z0 is equals to RC which is equals to 5.1 kilo ohms where AV is equals to V2 by V1 that is minus AI by AI into ZL by ZI that is minus 16 to 5.1 into 10 cube by 500 that is equal to minus 612 where AI is equals to minus HFE which is equals to minus 60. The next one is solve the current gain voltage gain, input resistance and output resistance for the common collector amplifier 
shown in below figure. The transistor parameters are HIC is equal to 1.4 kilo ohms, HFC is equal to 100, HRC is equal to 1, and HOC is equal to 20 into 10 power 6 ampere per volts. Here are the given circuit parameters where the given data RL is equal to 20 kilo ohms, sorry 40 kilo ohms and RS is equal to 21 kilo ohms, HFC is 100, HIC is equal to 1.4 kilo ohms, HRC is equal to 1, HOC is equal to 20 into 10 to the power of 6. And RE is equals to 10 kilo ohms, R1 is equals to R2 is equals to 20 kilo ohms. Where we need to calculate current gain, voltage gain, input impedance, output impedance. Where current gain is equals to minus HFC by 1 plus HOC into RL dash. Where RL dash is equals to RE is in parallel with RL that is equals to 10 kilo ohms is in parallel with 40 kilo ohms which is equals to 8 kilo ohms where ai is equals to minus 100 by 1 plus 20 into 10 to the power of minus 6 into 8 into 10 to the power 3 where ai is equals to 86.2 And R i is equal to H i c plus H R c into A i into R l dash. If we substitute these values, here we are going to get the 691 kilo ohms. And A v current voltage gain is equal to A i into R l dash by R i. That is equal to 86.2 into 10 power 3 into 8 into 10 power 3 by 691 into 10 power 3, where AV is equal to 0 0.998, where Y0 is equal to HOC minus HFC into HRC by HIC plus RS dash, where RS dash is equal to RS is in parallel with R1, which is in parallel with R2, which is equal to 0 0.9 kilo ohms, where y naught is equal to 20 into 10 to the power of minus 6 minus 100 into 1 by 1.4 into 10 power 3 plus 0 0.9 into 10 power 3. That is equal to 43,478 into 10 to the power of 6, where z naught is equal to 1 by y naught that is equal to 22.99 ohms. Here a CE amplifier is drawn by a voltage source of internal resistance RS is equal to 800 ohms and the load impedance is 1000 ohms. The H parameters are HIE is equal to 1 kilo ohm, HRE is equal to 2 into 10 to the power of 4, HFE is equal to 50 and HOE is equal to 25 micro amperes per volts. Compute the current gain, input resistance, voltage gain and output resistance. Here are the given data RS is equal to 800 ohms, ZL is equal to 1000 ohms, HFE is 50, HIE is 1 kilo ohm. HRE is equals to 2 into 10 to the power of 4 and HOE is equals to 25 micro amperes per volt. Where ZI input impedance is equals to HIE plus HRE into AI into ZL. If we substitute for AI is equals to minus HFE by 1 plus HOE into ZL that is equal to minus 50 by 1 plus 25 into 10 to the power of minus 6 plus 1000 
which is equals to we are going to get it as minus 40.78 as the current gain now input impedance is equals to hie plus hre into a into zl that is 1 into 10 to the power of 3 minus 2 into 10 to the power of 4 into 48.78 into 1000 which is equals to 975 into 10 to the power of 6 ohms where av is equals to v2 by v1 that is equals to minus ai into zl by zi that is equals to 5 into 10 to the power of minus 3 where y0 is equals to minus hfe into hre by rs plus hie plus hoe which is equals to minus 50 into 2 into 10 to the power of 4 by 800 plus 1000 plus 25 into 10 to the power of minus 6 that is equals to minus 3 by where z0 is equals to 1 by y0 1 by minus 3 by 5 which is equals to minus 1.8 into 10 to the power of minus 3. So, in this session we have discussed several problems on the amplifier H parameters uh, with uh, different current gain and voltage gain calculations. Thank you. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.